Hello, my name is Kayla Myers. Today I'm going to show how to set up Application Enabler to index documents in Omni. The first thing we're going to do is log into our application configuration, also known as AE config. We want to make sure we have an enabled application configured to index the document. I'm going to select my application, select configuration, and you'll notice I have application enabler with an action of indexing with a keyboard event of shift I. If I did not have one, I could create a new one here with the action of index and I could create any keyboard event or mouse event that I wanted to. Once I have my enabled application set up, I then need to set up my enabled screen. I'm going to use an ERP system that is an HTML screen, so I'll select new HTML screen. Hover over it until I see the black line outlining my entire screen. Verify I have the right information here. Create a new page identifier element. Use the lightning bolt to hover over my EP20. Verify the value is correct on my screen and hit OK. Then select Next. From here, I'd be prompted to log into OnBase. However, I already am logged in, so that I'm not getting prompted right now. I am provided with a list of all the documents that I have access to in my OnBase system. I'm going to say I want to set up OnBase to be able to index an APPO invoice and also an APPO invoices. Add those, click Next. When I'm on my AP20 screen, I want to identify the keywords that OnBase will recognize. So the first one I'm going to do is my vendor ID, select add. I can then use my lightning bolt again to hover over my vendor ID of 1199. You'll notice it updated the value in here. That is correct. I have a couple other options to do when using keywords. I'm not going to go into those, but they are available if you want to make your application enabler a little bit more detailed. I can hit OK. And then I can move on to my next uh, keyword I want to configure. So PO number, select add, hover over PO number, and so on and so forth. I already have this configured. So when I hit finish, it's going to ask me if I want to override my current configuration. I'm going to select no. But when you are configuring it at, uh, at your organizations, you will not be prompted with that. You would just hit finish, and you would be able to save your configuration. So I'm going to hit finish. Again, ignore this part. Okay, so my screen is configured to so now allow me to index documents. I will hit save to make sure I save my configuration file. Once it is saved, I want to go to my Unity client and my application enabler, and I want to reload my configuration file. I am already pointed to this application enabler configuration file. If I wasn't, I would then, of course, need to load it, but I'm already configured to it. So I just want to reload the file to make sure that my OnBase Unity client has the latest and greatest version of that file. It has been reloaded. I'm now going to open up my Unity client. And when indexing documents in the Unity client, or any client for that matter, you can do it when you're on your scan screen, your import screen, if you're in your batch processing and maybe you're doing a waiting index, or maybe you have workflow open with an HTML form to index your keywords. Anywhere where you have keywords visible on your screen, you can index them from a third party application into OnBase. So I'm going to go ahead and select something that's in my index batch processing queue. And then from here, I'm going to go back to my EP, uh, ERP system. And we said it was Shift I that does the indexing function. So I'm going to hit that on my keyboard. And then prompted with the box asking me what document type am I indexing? Remember, I said that there was two I was setting up. So for this case, I'm just going to say an APPO invoice, hit OK. This 
second for my test system to uh, update here with me. Sorry, that took a moment. You'll now notice that my AP geo invoices populated in my document type, and so did all my keywords that I had configured in the application enabler. Vendor ID, geo number, like I mentioned before, I already had the style configured, so I did have a couple other keyword values in here, like the invoice number, invoice total, and invoice date. Once I am um, content with all the keywords I have configured, I can also add keywords if I wanted. Um, because maybe, you know, I don't have the vendor number in my ERP system or an invoice tax or things like that. Um, so you can, of course, add any additional keywords you want. But most of the keywords came from my, my ERP system. Once I'm done, I just hit index. And I can then move on to the next document. Please let me know if you have any questions. Other than that, thank you for joining this demonstration and have a great day.